Alright, so you know how normally whenever I play Smite and I record it, that I get notifications on Spotify? No, that's not what I do. Get out of here, Spotify. But normally whenever I play Smite and I record it and do a live video of it, I do absolutely horrendously. If you don't, like, believe that, go back and watch just about any of my Smite videos where it's actually a live thing and not a gameplay that I... Friggin... what? What am I... what? The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, words are hard. A game that I recorded after finish and then uh, uh, uploaded, but it wasn't a live commentary. Which is the same as what this one is. This one isn't live at all, but I actually did pretty decent in it. I didn't get a bunch of kills. I was like, 7 kills, 0 deaths, and 20 assists or something. That's a lot of assists, but that's because, like, I'm at least 99% sure out of those 20 assists, like, 15 of them were friggin' kill steals by my friend who was playing Arachne. But yeah, we were in a party of five and we pretty much just destroyed these kids. I think they only had like a couple of kills. Hang on, let me, I'm not actually watching the video right now. Let me like find out. You know, you're, I'd, I don't need to find out. But, because you're watching the video anyway, but I can't even find it. So they didn't get many kills. I want to say it was only like a few and we got a, a lot, but that could be inaccurate. All I know is that most of us didn't die. I think Zig was the one playing Arachne and he went like friggin' 20 and 0 or something stupid like that. Um, someone, I forget who it was, the game ended one before he got a godlike, so he was 12 and 0, I was 7 and 0. Um, I don't know what the others were, I don't know, there's like, there was five of us. I was playing Hu Yi, however you want to play it, play it, pronounce it. It's probably, Hu Yi is probably my favourite hunter. It's either him or Armour's End Cab would be my favourite hunters, because they're just a lot of fun to play. So, yeah, I've been playing some hunters recently. I got the achievement for mastering five hunters. I am one achievement, one achievement, one character away from getting the achievement for mastering five assassins, but I have almost mastered Humbats, so I should get that achievement very soon. I think I'm on like 40 worshippers out of 50, and then after that I've mastered five of everything, as well as trying to get Poseidon to Diamond, which is coming along decently. I don't know, I haven't played Smite a lot recently. Well, I haven't played it. I've played it a couple times in the last few days. I played it a bit on the weekend, but I haven't really been playing as Poseidon much. I've just been playing as a bit of other characters just to mix it up a little bit. Because I'm working on getting him to Mastery 6. And I think I'm like 60 worshippers away from doing that. But for some reason, like you normally get like what, 16 worshippers for a win in Joust and then like 20 or something plus for a win in, uh, was it Conquest? But for some reason, I was playing Conquest the other day, and I won, and I only got 8 worshippers, which is the amount you get for winning an arena match. And now they're all like, you get 8 for a win and 4 for a loss for every game mode, and I don't really know why that is. But that's not ideal, because that means it takes a long time. I can't play like Conquest and just win and get 20 worshippers in one game. I have to play arena and then win multiple to do that. Even though arena games can last 15, 20 minutes. So, it's taken a while, I'm pretty sure I'm on like 520 worshippers out of 575. So then when I get to Mastery 6, or the game before I get to Mastery 6, I'll do a live video of that one. Probably suck, because I tend to suck in those types of things. I don't know how long this game goes for, so I'm not going to be doing a commentary over the entire thing, just for now. Um, just a, you know, I think we might just I might just cut it up so it's just like the interesting parts. I could either leave it, like cut it up, but just have me talking to myself over it because at the time I thought I was recording everyone else's voice, but that was in a different party that I was recording everyone else's voice, and then we left that party to join another party, and I wasn't recording because to record Xbox voices I have to sign into a second controller, have the second controller join the party, have my main controller leave the party. And then if my main controller rejoined the party for it to actually record. Because for some stupid reason, the Xbox One doesn't have a voice preferences option like the 360 did. I've, I swear I've ranted about this a million times, but it pisses me off so much. 
It literally is the number one requested thing on the Xbox forums. It has like five, six thousand upvotes, and it's been on there for about three years, I think, two or three years. And Microsoft still haven't done a friggin' thing about it because they don't care about the people who buy their consoles. So if you're sitting there thinking, should I get a PlayStation or an Xbox? I play Xbox and I always have, so I can only recommend that you buy a PlayStation because Xbox One is a joke. And I friggin'. 360 was fantastic. The Xbox One is a freaking laughing stock of a console and I hate it sometimes. I just have no friends on PlayStation and I don't have the money to buy a PlayStation, which is the only reason I'm on Xbox. That and I've got like how however many years of I swear to god I've got like hang on, let me just view my profile real quick. I have how many years have I played Xbox? Four. I got four years of Xbox Live like achievements and game data and all that stuff and I don't really want to switch over to PlayStation and start all over again so I'm sticking with Xbox even though Xbox One sucks ass because it's just like it's missing so many things that the 360 had but anyway um, I'm gonna get going I might put some tunes in the background some mm, probably Monster Cat tunes because I'm actually allowed to use those now because I got licensed I was using them before but now I can use them legally because before I could use them, but then I'd get the video like striked or have a third party notice on it and it just wouldn't be monetized or available in certain countries. But I do have a license to use their music now, so I can use it without the risk of getting in trouble and having my channel taken down or whatever. So that's good. And it also lifted all copyright claims on any other videos I use Monster Cat songs in, which was like 30 or 40 of them. So 30 or 40 of my videos got copyright claims lifted and I got about a million emails about it so that was interesting so I guess I will leave you with that and I'll just cut it up I'll cut this video up maybe if by the time I cut it up it'll be almost done by now and we'll be good but if there is any time left I'll just put some relaxing tunes in the background or something um, and you can see that I'm not completely crap at smite I do have good games sometimes Granted, we were in a party of five, but still, I'm not horrible all the time, is what I'm trying to say. I do have a good game occasionally. So, on that note, I'll see you later. Uh, have a good one, and goodbye. Dreaming, someone take away this feeling.